I remember one night I um, cut with scissors, paper clips, uh, once with a pencil. The past three years, I've known nine people who killed themselves. And basically the day before I could have a conversation, they seemed totally fine. Something that kept me from reaching out was the stigma and the judgment I would get from everyone in my life. For you, what is depression and what does it mean to be depressed? Depression is hard to describe like either like a, like a feeling or a state of mood. It's feeling numb, but also feeling really heavy at the same time. is isn't really something you can find in a book. It's different for everybody. Everything I thought with depression was in the end just teenage angst, you know? Like, you're 15, you're gonna hate everything. When I was 12 years old, I wasn't suicidal, but, when I, but whenever I went through middle school and I kept on getting bullied, I didn't have the support system that I felt like I needed. And going into high school, that was just miserable. But it's at some point, as I got older, like, that feeling wasn't going away. You think you're just having a bad week or a month, but then it doesn't stop. It's almost like someone just took the life out of things. Not just sadness, but feeling that um, you don't really have a willingness to continue your life. You kind of just feel like life isn't for you and like it just wouldn't matter if you were there or not. Suicide practically became who I was. It was what I wanted to do the most. I hated being alive. I hated people were picking on me. What made you have some motivation, you know, to live? The marching band and my sisters was my primary reason to get better. Realizing that uh, suicide doesn't fix everything. It just transfers pain from one person to the next. Finding a good support system is amazing and has just changed my life. Tell me a little bit about the warning signs so I could see that I have a friend with depression. Mm -hmm. mm. Tired, but not just tired physically, tired mentally. Staying in bed till about three, not ever doing anything, not contacting your friends, your loved ones, just... Isolating yourself. Depression is a thing where you suffer in silence most of the time. I was suffering in silence for about three years before I said anything. It took being hospitalized to mm -hmm. work my way back up and get the support group that I needed. I opened up to more people. Like with my with the band, I was very shy at first, but the more people I found, the more I felt comfortable. I don't feel like I have to be embarrassed to ask my friends for help because they would rather help me than me be suffering in silence or even worse. And how can your friend help you? Literally just checking on you. Literally just making sure everybody's, everything's good. Let them know that you're not there to judge them or anything. You just want them to listen. You don't really want advice. You just want someone to be there for you. Don't be afraid to ask questions. I know no one wants to say, hey, are you feeling suicidal? But to be, um, to have someone at least address your suicidal, it, it at least lets you know that someone is at least concerned about you. Where do you find yourself right now? Right now, I'm a lot better than I was, but I've got a little way just to go. Right now, I feel pretty great because a few years ago, I didn't think I was really gonna make it this far. I do have days where I feel suicidal. I do, I'm not gonna lie. But now I have that people drive, but I also feel like now that people have helped me, I need to help others, which is why I'm going to be a psychologist and be a therapist so I can go on and help other people who went through what I went through. I still have awful days where I go back to that dark place, but medicine has helped me and a support group. We just have to understand that it's not an immediate gratification kind of thing. It's not like you're just doing a scratch off and got the one that says happiness. It's just, it takes time like things to better. Being glad that you didn't give up. Also, if someone tells you that they're depressed or suicidal, just to not feel alone, make someone feel like they have somebody else to talk to. Spreading kindness and positivity really will help you and help other people, so you just can't go wrong. 
with being nice to people and helping people. Thank you.